On this episode, we're going to make a tomato sauce from scratch. Not only does it taste delicious and it's so easy to make, but you're going to be so proud of yourself and feel so confident in the kitchen. When you're done, I cannot wait to share this with you. My name is Scott, this is Learning Vegetarian. Let's get started. Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me today. I wanted to put together a video that showed how to make a tomato sauce from scratch. It is something that I learned a while back um, that when I learned how to do it, I was actually really surprised how easy it was. And not only that, but it actually really helped me build confidence in the kitchen. It's something that I probably make mm, twice a week, I'm not lying, and uh, it's something that I keep on rotation in my fridge because I use it constantly with all sorts of recipes um, and all sorts of things. I think the other part about making tomato sauce that's wonderful is that tomato sauce has this like reputation in my head of a family recipe or something that somebody long ago has been making for years and that's what you grew up on. And so this is a recipe that once you get the basics of it down, you can modify, change it, make it your own and have your own now new tradition that you can pass off and say that this is your recipe. I'm so excited to share this with you. Let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna use a mixture of different tomatoes I found at the grocery store, including some on the vine and some beautiful heirlooms. We're gonna use some oregano and basil, some onion, garlic, oil, and some balsamic vinegar to top it off. Of course, we'll season with some salt and pepper. To get started, grab a bowl that's large enough to toss all of our ingredients and set the oven at 375. Chop the tops off the tomatoes and slice in half, place in the bowl. I love heirloom tomatoes. Look how beautiful and colored these are. They really cook up so nicely and they really add a lot of flavor to your tomato sauce. Even if you're using tomato sauce or even a tomato soup, I highly encourage you to just grab one heirloom and throw it in with the other tomatoes and it will make the flavor that much better. Chop up our onions into large rings, separate into the bowl. Smash and peel your garlic, throw it on in that bowl. Add your basil, oregano, oil, salt and pepper, and then go ahead and toss. Once you have a nice layer of oil over all your vegetables, go ahead and add some balsamic vinaigrette and toss again. Using a half sheet covered in parchment paper, dump the contents of your bowl onto the half sheet, turning all tomatoes face side down so that the skins are up. This will help cook the inside of the tomato and really add a caramelized flavor to the edging. Once the oven is preheated, put it in the oven for 35 minutes. Halfway through, go ahead and check on some of your vegetables and toss them around the pan to make sure that they're evenly roasted. Make sure the tomatoes stay face side down. Ah, 35 minutes, look at those. Oh my goodness, look at those. They look delicious. The color is amazing. Look how the tips of the onions are just roasted just enough. The skins are about ready to come off with us just a tug on them. The garlic is nicely roasted and those juices smell amazing. Your house should smell so good right now. We're gonna set these vegetables aside for about 10, 15 minutes so that we can peel the skins off without burning our fingers. Once the skins are all removed, go ahead and toss the skins and place all of the items on the half sheet into a blender.
depending on the consistency of how chunky or how thin you like your sauce, is up to you and the preference of how long you leave it in the blender. I've taken the blade out, I've taken the lid off, and I'm gonna dump this into our stock pot. That looks incredible, look at that. Look at that, it looks and smells so good, and it's thick, and it's a nice consistency. This is gonna be amazing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the rest of this out and put it in the pan. What I've gone ahead and done is added one cup of vegetable stock to, to our sauce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it to a boil and then go ahead and let it reduce down into a thicker sauce and a nice consistency. That vegetable stock's just gonna add an extra little flavor and some kick to it. Not necessary, but I do think it adds a nice touch to the sauce. Go ahead and add your stock pot to the stove and turn to high heat, bringing to a boil. Once it's at a boil, bring your temperature to low and let simmer. We'll cook it for about 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. We've reduced our sauce, we've simmered it, it's been on the stove for about 30 minutes. I've heated up some cauliflower rice. I'm gonna throw this right on top and I'm gonna have some lunch because I am starving. Oh, it just smells delicious. This is gonna be amazing. Mm. Just as good every time. I hope you enjoy cooking this as much as I enjoy eating it. You've now made a red sauce and I hope you feel good about it. Enjoy this, make it your own. My name is Scott and this is Learning Vegetarian. Until next time.